Hey everyone, it's Kimberly. You're watching Lovely Overload. Thank you guys so much for tuning back into my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I take a little quick weave and actually style it. Um, yeah, so let me just jump right into it and give you the background on this hair. This is the Hollywood, what's this called? Virgin Perm Remy. 100% luxurious human hair. This is the classic, okay? They have the, um, I believe it's a pink box that looks like this, and it says virgin, I think, here. I'm not sure what it says, but this is the one that I use. It's in the color 1B. This is 10 inches. It's a long 10 inches. You see this 10? It's a long 10. And, um, yeah, I purchased two packs of this hair. I did not use all of the two packs. I used a pack in, like, a little more than half the pack. I actually put this hair in um, two weeks ago and I had a little swoop bang and I took it out, I washed it out, you know, took it out and then I put it back in and did a bootleg part down the middle. And I call it a bootleg part because I have a icky icky widow's peak and I can't ever get a clean looking part, okay? like. My part can't ever go straight down the middle or I'll look like a fool. And I normally cut my widow's peak all the way back to like here. But I'm trying not to cut it all that way. I still, it grows to about here and I cut it to right here. I just shave it. And so my hair, like the widow's peak normally stops right here. Oh, do 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 that. <laughs> But yeah, so this is the quick weave. I wanted to come to you guys when I just did it fresh and everything. Yesterday is when I put it in, but um, I'm sick. I didn't feel well and just didn't get around to it. But yeah, this is it in. So the ends are like curled because I did um, curl it up really quick yesterday. So, I'm not, I don't know if I'm going to talk because I don't want this video to be super long because I know when I'm on YouTube I don't like watching really, really dumb long videos. So, but I do like to have a good explanation as to what's going on with what I'm watching. So, I don't think I'm going to talk, but I think I'm going to go ahead and put subtitles or something or I might interject and say something when something needs to be said. I don't know, but, okay. This is, um, the... Quick weave. Also, uh, this much of my hair is left out. This is my hair. You see? That's how long my hair is. And, it, yeah, I left it out at the top. And I just kind of keep it moisturized and brush it in to the quick weave. Now, the main thing that I want to do with this um, little cut I'm going to do, I'm not a good hair cutter. That's why I don't have any videos on how to cut hair because I don't know how to cut hair. But I just know what I like and what I attempt to do. I'm going to just take it in a little bit on the sides, kind of have it, something like that. I don't know how to explain. And that's probably all the cutting I'm going to do. So yeah, let me get started. Oh, first let me tell you what I'm using. I'm using this um, tool from Sally's. I've actually purchased two of these in the past and they both sucked ass because they were like four dollars and you get what you pay for this is the one that I bought it was like six yeah you see this look see how this thing slides on and off like that without me even having much say in it look at this one it doesn't move okay because it's locked on and that's what you really you want your guard to stay in place and then you see you can't even see the razor coming out of this guard and on this one you see it here this comes with another guard so I can have just a straight edge razor if I don't want these this tooth. Let me not cut my hand. I don't want this tooth guard on it. It also comes with an eject button for the razor, so I don't have to <clears throat> cut myself. I can just pull it out, pop it back in. Also came with five um, razor replacements. It was easy to put this together. This I still don't even know if I got it put together right because the crap won't even stay put together. So, um, yeah, this one is just, like, sitting in my closet for what? I don't know. 
this is uh, the one I got. It was actually $21, but it was well worth the price. So let's get started. First, I'm going to, okay, I'm not talking right. I'm going to take it and, okay, maybe I will talk. <laughs> you want to comb it. You want to comb the hair. Like, see how this, this is not how this hair is going to fall. So if I cut it with it like this, like, when I do ever put the hair in its, you know, where it belongs on my face, I'm going to look and feel stupid because I cut it the wrong kind of way. So, I'm going to take this. This is about as far back. I never like to cut high up above my ear. So, like, this hair here, let us stay this length because I want my ear to be covered. I don't want bangs coming and exposing my ear. So, I never cut that far back in. And I start going in where my, um, the high point on my cheekbone. So, like, this area is where I start in with this. So, about like that. Okay? So I'm just going to kind of very lightly give it a little bit of shape. All right, here we go. And remember, once you cut, you can't put it back. Well, you can because this isn't my real hair. But you can't put it back without redoing the whole entire weave. We don't want to do that. So here we go. And that looks decent enough to me. You see where how it's just kind of got slightly tapered look. And it's a little bit lower than my cheekbone. Okay. Because I, I don't like, I don't want a, a premature bang thing up here. I'm not into all that. But then when I, if I ever pull it back, see these pieces? they're gonna fall down like that now the hardest part about cutting something is having symmetry so see this is not symmetrical we match it up side to side we gotta get it cut so there goes the side and I cut the side first because it's easier because I'm right-handed now cutting this one I'm like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so let's see I'm going to take the same kind of piecage. Seems thinner on this side. But like I said, I had used this hair um, already for a different quick weave. And then I just took it out, washed it, and put it back in in a different style. So some of these the hairs are kind of like cut for the other style. Okay, so then I'm just going to take my razor. I'm starting in about the same kind of spot. I'm coming in, cutting into the hair. I'm going to um, cut it. I cut. And I'll just toss it into the trash. And then do a matchup. See, the side's a little bit longer. See? So, and it's a little bit longer everywhere. That's how you get a good cut if you do a, um, a matchup. Now, you heard me say it's a little bit longer, but did you see me do anything about it? I don't think so. I just didn't even <laughs> want to jack it up some more. Um... Okay, I'm gonna have to cut it a little bit more. Just gonna take it, and cut it a little bit more. And I think using the razor is better because it gives you a more natural appearance as opposed to um, scissors. If you, when you go cut, mm, I said, razor. 
when you go cutting with um, scissors, you get a very blunt effect. And it's not very natural. But what I will do with the scissors is once I've kind of already given it a little bit of definition with the razor, I'll go in with the scissors and clean it up a little, a little bit. If you do a whole cut with scissors, you're going to look blunt and wigged out. I mean, you're going to look like you have on a wig. So. That's really just how you match it up. This side is still coming off a little bit longer. But I think I'm going to go ahead and take it as it is. Okay, now I have not yet to master the cutting this back part, okay? I haven't a clue what to do back there, y'all. So I just normally do a little bit frame around my face. <sighs> Sorry, like I said, I'm a little bit sick. So, next I would take... I would take my flat iron and this is my flat iron and I would put the feather effect on just flicking these pieces to the back like so just take everything away from your face And this is what this is the purpose of the layers. This is this is how you really bring the layers out. You see that? Now I guarantee, like if you were to do this style with a um, a cut that you did with a pair of scissors, you're not gonna get this effect, and you're gonna feel cheated. I'm telling you, it doesn't come out the same. Can you see how pretty full that is? just with the front being done. And then around the back and the sides and stuff, I just like to put a little bump in it. Nothing too crazy. See, just a little bump. So really it's just about the ends. Um, going for the little bump effect. Um, this hair curls really nice. It doesn't hold a curl better than any other type of hair. Well, uh, I guess not any other type of hair, but for its price. And it was um, $50 a pack for 10 inch. So, I mean, if you're paying $50 for a 10 inch, it's going to curl pretty much hold the same kind of curl as this in my opinion. Sorry, I got hers on the white shirt. Hers on the white shirt. So I mean, you could definitely wear it straight and down because you, you get that natural look like, oh, this is just my hair. Do, 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 do. This is how my hair looks. Or you can, um, Jazz it up, toss some feathers in it as Atia would say, or some wings, and fly away. Pull it up, you still got that cute little bang you put in there and everything. So, but I've already curled one side, so I'm gonna curl the other side. This side is so hard for me to curl, okay? This side, everything is hard for me to do. But I'm right handed, so my right side should look the bomb, but it doesn't because my left hand doesn't know how to do anything. I should just flat iron it. Almost burned myself. Okay, so we're gonna try to do something. <laughs> and that's what we did. <laughs> um, whatever. Came out decent. Let's 
decent enough. Because if I talk about my right hand bad enough, he wants to prove me wrong, I'm going to bust a move. And that's sure enough what it did today. Even though it looks a little too curled. But whatever. So you just take it back. And I'm just... Oh. Not that time I wasn't. I'm just flipping this. I like have no like master plan for the um bottom portion heck this could be a kim k inspired her curling cut hmm? oh okay yeah so i did jack it up you see how um bumpy it is and this is not like that <laughs> I tend to just kind of look at the back and see if I got everything in the back. And the beauty about weaves is if I was doing this with my real hair, I could not be all. Because I'd be breaking it, you know? But this is not my hair. So, screw the heat protectant, screw all that. Whatever. And get these hairs off of me. And just for blending purposes, I would take a. How long is this video? I'm gonna do some editing, you guys. This video is 16 minutes. Y'all already know I'm not gonna make y'all watch all that shit. Um, this is some, some. Y'all know what this is. This is um. Lush's hair moisturizer, just a smidgen, a smidgen, and this is really for my hair up top here. I do have it going to the back too, my hair to cover. I don't have a closure or anything. And then I would take my brush and kind of brush it, but not really trying to brush out all my hard feathering work but making sure I got everything and looking at it again seeing if everything falls decent Y'all, this top of my head might be cut out on this dang little video. So that's how my camera always want to ding me. Like, I'm a... You don't know, it can get left. This camera can get left. You don't know, you can get left. It's like, no, I'm kidding. It's really not the camera. It's actually the math bucket. Always bring my videos down and cuts my forehead off. And I hate when I'm watching a video and, like, people are talking and you can't see this part of their head. It makes me think that they just have hair growing off the sides of their head. No, I'm kidding. Okay, I'm not crazy. And to finish it, I've been spraying um, this Garnier Fructis Style Flexible Control Anti-Humidity Hairspray with Natural Bamboo Extract. It provides bounce back hold strong. Number two. I've been just very lightly spraying a little bit of hairspray. I find that it really kind of holds, if nothing else, these... Um, things together in the front here so this side definitely came out much cuter than this side but who am I who am I to complain who am I hmm? no one that's who I am so yeah um I notice like you guys normally really 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 like my hair tutorials way more than my makeup tutorials like I'll do a hair tutorial and it'll get like way 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 more views comments thumbs ups and all that type of good stuff 
So, uh, yeah, I've been paying attention to that. I'm going to be doing more hair tutorials. Because sometimes, you guys, like, I'll do my hair and I won't even make a video about me doing it. And then, like, I'll take the style out and wear something completely different. You know what I mean? Like, since you guys have seen me last, I've had three different hairstyles. Because I do a quick weave. And um, I only leave it in for two weeks, if that. And I'm over it and I'm taking it out to put something else in. And you guys are missing all that. So, like, I had the sensational weave. And now I have this. You guys didn't even see everything that I had in between because I just didn't make any videos. Um, I made a video of me taking out one of the weaves in the shower. That was a different one. You guys didn't even get to see that looking good. You all got to see it looking busted when I was taking it out. And then I did the video. Um, I mean, I had another one, like I said, this same hair, along with the sweep bag. You guys didn't even see it. So I need to get on my video game is what I'm saying, basically. Basically, that's what I'm saying. If you guys didn't know. That's what I'm saying. Okay. So, that's it. And I hope you guys, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, that's it I hope you guys enjoyed this thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to rate this video I mean thumbs it up or thumbs it down and don't forget to subscribe to my channel um, especially if you watch my videos you know if you like something about this video you might like something about a future video you'll never know so you should subscribe um, yeah that's it love you guys lots and I'll see you later